Hello everyone, my name is Chris and uh, welcome to this uh, Lightroom tutorial. So I found my love for uh, photography again and uh, while I'm learning Lightroom and Photoshop all over again after 10 years, I decided to take you on a journey with me. So I, what I learn, I learn back to you. If it helps you, great. If you already knew it, sorry. Uh, if this video helps, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and uh, don't worry, I'm still gonna make game videos, but I'm gonna switch it up with tutorials. So let's get straight into it. This video I'm gonna show you how to uh, apply watermarks to your photo while exporting in Lightroom. There are two ways to do it. So we go into Lightroom, you go to edit and edit watermarks. You get this watermark editor, I'll show you the second location first. You go, when you go to export, you get the export screen, I think you know. If you scroll down, right here, on the bottom there's watermarking. If you select it, you can choose or just simply watermark or edit. If you choose simple watermark, edit, you get the same screen we saw before. Okay, so here you put in some text, whatever you like. I'm gonna do it like I know her name is fine as well, but it puts the text in the bottom side. You can choose the font, whatever you like. I just, just choose one just for the example. You can align it to the left, to the center or to the right. This means it's more offset of the, on the left side. This doesn't mean it's gonna put on the right side. This is the shadow part and you can offset. You, can, you just play around with it. And this is the opacity of the watermark itself, it's the whole watermark. If you change it like this, the size, change the size so we can make it a lot clearer to see. You can change the inset so it changes a little bit to the left or right, or up or down. This is the anchor, so if you want to do it on the top left, uh, bottom left, Bottom right, top right, left right, uh, top left. <laughs> uh, in the center, well, nobody can do it in the center, but okay. And then you're ready, click save. You can give it a name, mm -hmm. preset, and then export. When you open the picture, you see that the Watermark is automatically applied when you export a picture. And uh, that's it. You can do this for one picture or you select the whole bunch and it puts it on the same spot you select. Well, that's about it. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and uh, I see you in the next video. Bye.